Welcome to Finding Truth, the channel where we are trying to find out exactly what's going on out there and as much facts as we possibly can. So, today we're going to have a conversation about some of the massive amounts of censorship that are going on on Facebook, Twitter, and other social media. Why is this happening? What are they trying to hide? Uh, do they have a preferred candidate that they are trying to support by blocking negative information about that candidate? We will see. So we're just going to start with this Ben Garrison comic here that shows uh, Biden's bodyguard shows Facebook and YouTube banning people who want to present factual information about Biden and or his family. This is very disturbing to see. So, okay guys, let me just get my camera up here and you guys will be able to see me and we can move forward from here. So I want to show you what's happening to me personally on Twitter today. I tried to repost this uh, New York Post story. This is not the one that was banned yesterday. This is a new story from the New York Post. And once again, something went wrong, but don't fret. Let's give it another shot. If you hit tweet, it will give you the message saying we can't complete this request because it has been identified by Twitter or our partners as potentially harmful. So the question is, who is it harmful to? The information is simply information. It, it seems to be backed by evidence. Um, I'm not quite sure what they're trying to say there other than harmful to our preferred candidate. That's my opinion, but that seems to be what they're saying. So let's go take a look at the article and see what the article says. Uh, we find the article on the New York Post, as I stated, uh, says emails reveal how Hunter Biden tried to cash in big on behalf of family with Chinese firm. And it goes through and it talks about the emails that we've been able to find that talk about the expectations that this Chinese firm had for Hunter Biden as a chair, vice or vice chair, depending on the agreement with the CEFC. Um, the CEFC is a Chinese energy company and happens to be one of the largest energy companies in China. So the question starts to be asked, why are these concerning situations constantly or consistently happening with energy companies around the world? Is there some advantage to using an energy company? Is there uh, a ability to launder money easier? Um, I'm just not sure. And I don't know that money was laundered. I'm just asking questions here. So. Um, it talks about his pay and where it was pegged, and it talks about his position and how much percentage goes to him. It says 20 is held by H, which is Hunter Biden. And then it says 10 is held by H for the big guy, and these are percentages of uh, the distribution. So the question is, who is the big guy? The big guy was never identified further, neither was Jim. So... These are two people we got to figure out who they are. Now, we have seen Hunter in previous email releases refer to his father as my guy. So I'm not quite sure if the big guy could possibly be Joe or not. Once again, complete speculation. But this is a factual article uh, going over notes that they have. It shows you a lot of the actual information, um, and it's a very good read. I would recommend reading it and understanding it, and then trying in your own mind to justify why a social media platform would see fit to specifically block this article. Um, so I also want you guys to remember this. This is from September 25th. A uh, GOP report claims Hunter Biden paid women linked to prostitution or human trafficking ring. But report also said it could not confirm allegations. 
Now, this is the bias of Fox. That's all in big, huge letters, and this is small and not bold. So every media source has their bias. They all seem to want to say they don't. They want to see, say that they are completely fair and balanced, but they do have their, their bias. So this is another article I would highly recommend taking a look at. I have a feeling I don't have evidence and I don't have insider sources, but I do have a feeling that this information is going to become rather relevant rather quickly. Um, sounds like this week is going to be a flash flood of information, and I will try to keep up on it. I'll try to get some more uh, frequent videos up this week because it's going to be moving fast. Um, it's just going to be tough to keep up with. So now let's go to Brandy's page here on Twitter. And sorry, Brandy, but I am not capable of pronouncing your last name. I've never heard it, and I can't uh, phonetically spell that out. Uh, so I apologize, Brandy. Um, but she says, breaking from me and at one underscore underscore on Facebook or on Twitter. She says, YouTube bans QAnon, Pizzagate, and other conspiracy content that targets individuals. So I would recommend going and uh, checking this story out from NBC News, uh, see what you can find out there. But she says, this follows similar recent changes by Twitter, which removed QAnon accounts and restricted QAnon content in July, and Facebook, who last week said it would remove groups, pages, and Instagram accounts that identified with QAnon. So they are definitely on the move. They are definitely attacking QAnon directly. Um, she says people are asking rightly whether this is a full Q ban. And she replies, no, not technically, but it's working on some of the most viral Q content, watching all the biggest Q videos and accounts drop like flies. So let's take a look at what she's talking about. If we go over here to YouTube, normally I'll have lots of notifications up here. And today my notifications have been very slow. I've got uh, only four notifications in the last 24 hours or five notifications in the last 24 hours. Um, and Patriot Hour is a good example of what she is talking about. The Patriot Hour is a great little uh, channel on YouTube. Um, they have been removed. If you click on their video, it just simply says video unavailable. It was removed because it was too long. No, it wasn't. That's that's ridiculous. It's uh, He's been posting videos forever. He knows the length that they need to be. He knows how to post them. Let's see what it says about Red Pill 78 Also a wonderful guy. Um, this has been a social... Uh, the video is no longer available because the YouTube account associated with this video has been terminated. They've literally terminated Red Pill 78. Red Pill was great. Um, sorry to hear they took you down, bud. That's just, it's, it's ridiculous. It's getting really, really bad. Um, so let's see what it says about this Patriot Hour video. Was it too long? Nope. Video is associated to account that's been terminated. So... Yeah, the previous one, like I told you, where it says Patriot Hour, that it was too long, that's a lie. Uh, that's not accurate information because you go down here, get to Patriot Hour, and it says this account has been terminated. So, like I said, it didn't have anything to do with the length of the video. Another good example is Just Informed Talk. Uh, Just Informed is phenomenal. doesn't exist anymore. You go click on that, try to get information about Just Informed Talk. And it just doesn't exist. Now, they haven't gotten to his highlights channel, it looks like. So, Just Informed Clips is still up. But uh, Just Informed Talk, gone, gone, gone. Can't find it anymore. Doesn't exist. Why? Why is it that they want you to not be able to see this stuff? It doesn't matter if the information is, is false. We have a First Amendment right to speak our mind, true or false, and to discuss and debate these things across the aisle, um, find out where we have common ground, find out where we disagree. That's the way our nation was built. This is 
flabbergasting to me that this is being allowed to happen. I really hope the DOJ jumps on this quickly and informs these, these companies like YouTube and Twitter that they are, if they choose to do this, no longer platforms, but publishers. And this makes them liable and responsible for all of the content on their site. They get away with a lot of stuff right now because they are considered providers, um, that they are considered a platform that allows you to just post on it, but they don't have responsibility for the posts that you make, which makes sense to me. They can't control what people put up. But when they start controlling one side over the other, they have become a publisher, no longer a platform, and they are putting their finger on what is right and what is wrong, meaning that they are saying that the, that which they leave up is accurate. So they're, they're putting their finger and their opinion on what the truth is, and they should be liable for that, in my personal opinion. So that's kind of where we're at today, guys. I really appreciate you watching. Keep your eyes on this. Keep your eyes on what's going on. This uh, censorship is horrific. It's terribly scary. I know these people like to talk about um, our favorite uh, anonymous source out there, and uh, they talk about him openly or them openly, and... Um, that should be allowed. There's no reason why that should not be allowed to happen. Um, this is just getting extremely frustrating. So like the video, uh, subscribe to the channel and share this video on your social media. That helps us out more than you can possibly know. I appreciate every single one of the subscribers. I appreciate all of the viewers and let's just get this information out there guys this is it's getting extremely frustrating to see this happening over and over and over again this has got to stop so let's be the ones that stop it <laughs>